Second Peter chapter one, verse five says, but also for this very reason, giving all dilig a diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue, knowledge, to knowledge, self-control, to self-control, perseverance, to perseverance, godliness, to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. For if these things are yours and abound, you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For he who lacks these things is short-sighted even to blindness and has forgotten that he was cleansed from his old sins. My friends, I could spend an entire hour on just this set of passages because we want to talk about all the details of how to do this and how to do that and how to keep Passover and how to count the Omer, but we forget the weightier measures, the weightier things that are on the scale, on God's scale, is right here. He says to all your, first thing he says, uh, for all this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. Character, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love. Do you notice how in 1 Corinthians 13 and 2 Peter and Ephesians, we're all talking about one fundamental characteristic that ends every sentence, and it's love. If you do not have love for the brethren, you do not know Christ. Because Christ loved the brethren so much so, he laid down his own life. They didn't take it. He said he willingly laid it down. He willingly laid it down. When was the last time you willingly laid down your life, laid down an argument, laid down the right to be right, and was okay with being wrong with a smile because it made the situation right? Right? 